Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call. If you just uh, give us your thoughts on how your open week went as you prepare for, for Saturday's game against Cincinnati, please. Well, any time you uh, have an open week, it's a good time to just get rested up and a few nicks and bruises and just give those uh, players a chance to get their feet back underneath them. It's still about fundamentals and technique, and, and our guys just uh, they needed that rest because we're going to go into a four-game stretch here, and then we have a few more days off, and then we end up with two more. So, but, you know, uh, Cincinnati um, had a chance to watch some of the game against uh, UCF, and, uh, you know, they battled, have a uh, – a, really outstanding quarterback the offensive line did a really good job for protecting him and he was able to make some throws but you know they were not able to go win the game <clears throat> okay questions for coach charlie strong please star one on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue then the operator will introduce you we'll go next to leo haggerty with it sports magazine good afternoon coach how are you doing good and fine thanks for asking Coach, when you watch the film of the Bearcats, what jumps off the film at you uh, about their offense and defense? Well, you, you can know, you know they're well coached, and uh, the, uh, Luke's going to do a good, really good job of just coaching them up, and and they uh, they have their opportunities on offense and even on defense. It's just some more about just taking advantage of it. But you know, to uh, all, all phases, they're well coached, and they're they're fun to watch. They play hard, and they sometimes just. Uh, uh, end up on the wrong end, but it's not because of lack of effort. Coach, with all the cataclysmic events that your program had to endure early in the season, did the bye week come at a really good time for your team? It really did, and we have played the five games, and, and just, um, you know, as I said earlier, when you have nicks and bruises, and then you're talking about fundamentals and technique, and it just guys getting their feet back underneath them. Uh, it, it came at a really good time for us, and so now you, you hit a stretch where you go Cincinnati at home, then you got to go on the road to uh, Tulane, then you come back home against Houston, then you go on the road to Connecticut. So you got two at home and two on the road. Good luck with homecoming in the game. All right, thank you. Good talk. Thank you, coach. We'll go next to Sam Kahn with ESPN.com. Hi, Charlie. Uh, one of your former players, Malik Jefferson, at Texas, having a really good junior season. I'm curious, when you guys got him as a recruit, how big a deal was it to land him, and what did he mean to the program in your time there? Well, Sam, I, you know, it's um, any time. It's a lot of those recruits there um, have a chance because they're in the state of Texas, and Malik was um, – I think he may have been the number one player, number one linebacker in the country at that time. So it's always big when you get a player like that. And, you know, he seemed to kind of take a leadership role, you know, early on as a young guy. I guess how did he handle that, and what kind of challenges come with that when you're such a young player? Well, but he had enough around him because uh, the, the year before he got there, we graduated a lot of seniors. And so when he came in, he had to step up and play in that position. You're always looking for a leader. Thanks so much. Uh, and do you have other questions for Coach Strong, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. So, Coach, well, thank you for your time today. I look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday. Okay, thank you.